I'm Matt Ridley. Um, I run the corporate venturing um, program within IAG. Um, we're looking to invest in startups with really promising technologies that can help IAG to uh, decarbonize and uh, provide um, uh, new and, and better services to, to our customers over the next 10, 15 years. So is this area of investment quite a new thing for the IAG group or is this something that's been going along for quite some years now? Yeah, we actually started um, our investment program the same year as JetBlue. Um, so we are, I think, the, the joint uh, longest running corporate venture capital program um, anywhere within the airline industry. Um, we've made several investments um, since 2017. We've invested in sustainability. We've invested in um, uh, software that helps uh, our, our managers to, to make better decisions. We've invested in um, machine vision, uh, AI, um, and our focus really at the moment is in decarbonization, sustainability. Um, you'll have seen a couple of our investments um, here today. So Lanzajet, um, which is alcohol to jet sustainable aviation fuel. We also invested in Zeroavia, who are uh, you know, the market leader in uh, hydrogen powered uh, aviation. So we get a lot of feedback from entrepreneurs to say that um, having an airline investor, having, you know, British Airways, Iberia, Vueling, uh, Aer Lingus um, as active shareholders is really helpful for them. It provides market validation. Um, it shows other investors that airlines are serious. It definitely helps with market validation and it helps to, to scale the business. I think we also contribute a lot of um, knowledge. We've got some of the best experts specifically in in sustainability you know jonathan um you know was was uh, was called the steve jobs of of sustainability yesterday you know we we've got some fantastic people who can you know really help our portfolio to understand sustainability policy understand how to scale understand how to get um the next round of finance so it's those things that we bring as well as just the capital Obviously, as a venture capitalist, we are looking to get a financial return. We want to back companies that can grow, but we also need to back companies that can um, scale so that they can have the, the, the strategic impact that we need. Um, so I think if a company is doing something specifically, you know, very, very relevant to decarbonizing aviation um, and there's a really credible path to to growth and and scaling and having that having that um impact for us uh yeah we we would definitely consider an investment um we look very carefully at um the team and the composition of the team the culture of the team um you know the experience that that team has had you know in in the sector that they're they're looking to disrupt and change um you know for us the, the credibility of the team is definitely um, the number one selection criteria. Are there any emerging trends you're starting to see maybe within the sustainability sector that are really warranting of your attention and potentially investment? We look towards a diversified portfolio. Um, so I think we are going to have to put together a bit of a jigsaw puzzle of, of the various different um, pathways and, and feedstocks to make sure that we've got the sustainable aviation fuel that, that we need as a group. Um, we've, this is such a great growth area. You know, we need, as an industry, we need so much sustainable aviation fuel, um, that actually often these aren't competing technologies. These are complementary technologies. Um, and you know, we need as much of it to, to commercialize as, as possible. Um, we're also looking at, you know, things that we can do, you know, to, to fly more efficiently. We're looking at uh, things that we can do to operate on the ground more efficiently because those are things that we can do technically tomorrow to take um, carbon out of the um, out of the operation. It's, it's going to be a mix of all of these technologies that helps us to decarbonize. It's not going to be just one. Um, and I think that's, that's what's exciting. There's, there's a lot of work to be done in this area.